In this video, I'm going to show you two simple ways of creating a very simple strobe light effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got some footage on the timeline, as you can see in my example, I've got this close up of a performer playing the guitar. There's a little bit of strobe light on there, as you can see, but there's not enough. So we're going to aid that with a fake strobe light effect. So to begin with, we'll start with the simple method. So you first want to go into effects and we'll search for levels. Now, if for some reason your Premiere isn't working and levels isn't allowing you to adjust the settings or it isn't working for you, then don't worry, you could do this in RGB curves, three-way color corrector, or some other color correction plugins right inside of Premiere. Essentially, the technique is we're just adjusting the brightness for one frame and then pulling it back down. So the techniques that I'm showing you here are very easy to replicate on other plugins in Premiere. So let's carry on. So now that we've got levels on our footage, we're just going to move over in time to a point where we want the strobe to appear. We'll create a brand new keyframe on white input level RGB. We'll move one frame to the right so you can either press the right button or if you zoom into your timeline, you can just move over one frame to the right. Then you're just going to pull the white input level all the way up to around 100. Then we'll go to the right again, just one frame, and we'll pull that back up to 255. And if we play that back, there was a very simple and very quick and easy strobe light effect. So if you wanted this effect to happen multiple times, all you have to do is just copy those keyframes. So we're going to highlight them, hold command C on the keyboard. That's control C if you're on Windows. We'll move over, command V, command V, command V. Just paste these wherever you like. And when we play this back, strobe lights, it looks really awesome. And of course, you can make these really quick if you just throw them next to each other like this. You can see we've got this really intense strobe light effect happening. Of course, though, if you were to film strobe lights for real with a camera, then they wouldn't quite look like this because of the way cameras film, the way images are read from top to bottom or bottom to top. It sometimes looks like there's only a flash on the top half or the bottom half of the image. So we're going to try and recreate that effect right now. So we're going to use this first set of strobes that we just created here as a starting point. We're just going to zoom out. So we'll zoom to 50%. We'll select the free draw bezier tool and we're just going to draw a rectangle mask across the top half of your video. Now we'll just pull that mask feather down to 0% and if we play this back, you'll see we've got the strobe light effect happening on the top half of the video. Now from here, what we want to do is we want to recreate this effect, but we're going to do this on the bottom half. So what we'll do here is we'll copy those levels so select levels, command C, command V. We'll go into the second set of levels, select the mask, and we'll just pull this mask down to the bottom of the frame. But what we're going to do here is we're going to select all of those keyframes that we just created and we'll shift them over a touch. If we don't shift them over, then the two of them are going to fire at the same time and we get this weird effect happening where the top and the bottom flashes and you get this weird overlapping, not quite in the mask area in the middle and it looks weird. So we'll just pull those keyframes over to the right to avoid that. And when we play this back, we've got strobes on the top and the bottom. And that looks a lot more realistic. So there you go. Those are two ways of creating a really simple strobe light effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video. See you there.